Hello and welcome to another uh, discussion of the capabilities of SUGI. I'm uh, Charles Severance and uh, SUGI of course is a great library for building learning tools, making an app store, etc, etc, etc. But in this particular one I'm going to show you uh, a way to make SUGI become an embedded learning management system and this is a capability that I've recently added to the PHP version of SUGI. And so this is a website, and I've had a web, this website, phpintro.com, for a long time to go along with my uh, PHP, MySQL, jQuery, and handlebars course that I teach at the University of Michigan. And, um, I, you know, you can take a look, and it tells you how to install stuff, and it's got some, it's an open, academic, it's an open education resource uh, thing. And uh, you can go down, and you can take a look at my lectures. I got some lectures, I got some videos. I got some slides and chapters in a book, and I can work through these. Uh, these roughly are equate to about a week of the class or, you know, half a week of class. And so I've got 20 modules that I've got all here. And um, you can, if you wanted to, you could grab the stuff. You could use my assignments. There's an assignment specification. And, um, You know, the slides are there, the assignment solution is there, I'll hand you some sample code, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, oh, hey, let's do something cool. Let's make it go. Look at that. Works pretty cool even on a phone. And if you click those videos, they work out really cool and they got all the stuff. Assignment specifications, sample code. Okay, let's make that bigger again just for yucks. Okay. Now, if you also want to... Um, uh, export this using common cartridge, you can export this as a common cartridge. Hang, uh, hang on a sec, let me, uh, oh, well, I'll just export it. Yeah, so there is a common cartridge. Oh, wait, it, that's a common cartridge that, let me show you that common cartridge. So here's a common cartridge that I just exported, and you can import that into Sakai or Canvas or whatever that you want to do. And that actually then has links in it, LTI links. I'll show you how that works in another video. And you can actually then apply for a key and a secret, but you have to log in before you get the key and the secret. And so, so now you can log in and get a key and a secret and launch the autograders from the course. So this by itself, so far what I've shown you is got autograders, it's got a common cartridge. Sugi's making this common cartridge for us. Um, but what's also then interesting is SUGI has become an embedded learning management system and we'll activate that by clicking the login button. And so we'll log in with Google here and um, you'll have to share some information with my site. And so the first thing you see is a couple new tabs show up. You've got some tabs, you've got a badges tab, you've got a profile where you can you know, have a picture and all those things and uh, a threaded discussion, which I use discuss for that. Uh, because I don't want to be responsible for spam if I'm letting anybody log into my website. But now what's happened is you've got this set of assignments. And so these are your assignments. And they're, I haven't done any yet, but um, you'll see them. I can go into these lessons now. Um, let's go into this one. And you'll notice that, that you didn't see these tools. And so there is an auto grader now for the request response cycle. And so now we're in an auto grader. And it's given you a little assignment. It says you're supposed to retrieve this and you're supposed to type some stuff in here and then hit the submit button and yeah i got a 0.0 percent score um i could i could try to do this homework a little bit better and so uh, if i got that right then i would see a grade here i got a score of zero um and if you do enough of these assignments you end up with badges and in this case i give you a badge just for showing up like lots of things do this is a standard Open Badge Initiative badge. It's got metadata inside of it. You can copy this image to your web page and the metadata goes with it. Um, this is an OBI compliant badge. And so as you finish your homework and do your homework, away you go. And so one of the ways to do this is just take this class with a whole bunch of other people and uh, you know just all the people who can take it who log in. Um, if you look at the lessons, you'll see that at the bottom of every lesson, now we have auto graders and peer graders that are showing up here, which are the exact same ways I teach this on campus and the same way that I'm going to teach this uh, in my MOOC offerings, okay? And so let's see, I showed you the badges, the profile, and if I just log out, 
it just goes back to a flat open education resource. Now, so this is a really powerful way of building classes. Now, the idea is, is you create effectively content. So this lessons is content. There's a JSON file that defines it, that, and then, and then Sugi displays it, and then you add stuff to it. And so if you go to this other website, Python for Everybody, which is my Python classes, and you see similar kinds of things. We're not logged in here, and so if you look at the lessons, you will see that um, we have things. We have watch, things to watch, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, here we have a book. That's my book. And if I log in, I log in using Google. Log in. And so now I can go to the assignments. And this one I did write, Hello World. And so if I go to the Y program lesson and I go to the Hello World, so I got, you know, I can, I can make a mistake and check my code. Okay, if I change this, this is Python 3, by the way. So um, my Python for everybody uh, book is the Python 3 book. And so you can see your assignment. Now, I already had a score of 100 on that, so it wasn't very exciting. And I can see the badges that I'm building there. And I'm making a little progress on what it takes to get this next badge. I've done one of the one, two, three, four, five, six things I've got to do to get to this getting started badge. And I've already got the yes, you logged into Python for everybody badge. So you can see that Sugi is latent, and, and Sugi's like got the badges. If you were if you watch these URLs, you'll see that Sugi is being used in both places. Sugi Lessons PHP. If I click on Lessons here, that's Sugi. So you don't have to write this code. You write this JSON file. As a matter of fact, I can quickly show you the JSON file. Not that it matters. Lessons.json. And so you configure what a badge is, you configure what your auto graders are, and the source code for the auto graders is right in there. And so you'll notice that when I go to, oops, when I go to an auto grader, say I go to an auto grader and I go to this auto grader, you'll notice that this is hosted on the very same server with a slightly different URL. So it's on the py4e.com. So this is a self-contained, self-contained website that's an open educational resource site. It is a MOOC, i.e. everyone can enroll in this website and take the course. It is a downloadable Creative Com a downloadable uh, Common Cartridge, and it is a set of LTI tools. And all of those you can use however you want. And so, uh, so I, I think this is exciting. I think this is a neat way to build uh, websites that sort of morph into courses. I call this uh, embedded Sugi. And so uh, get a hold of me, join the Sugi developer list, um, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.